Minimum. Okay, minimum's going around. Toga, gonna use the rudder to keep the... 100. There we go. SRS go around track, go around flaps, one flap up. And we're gonna climb away nice and gently. Man, Toga, SRS go around track was what the FMA said. We're now climbing away, so landing gear up may or may not come in your simulator assessment, so up to you guys. But generally speaking, once you've stabilized the aircraft, once you've got, you know, ticked all the boxes, there's really not much to do. Just fly the aircraft like a normal airplane. It's, it's, it's really, really that simple. Now, when I do give full power to do the go around, okay, we have land on the FMA. When I do give full power for the for the go around, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to um, use the rudder to stabilize it. All right. Hundred above. Hundred above. Two hundred. There we go. Minimum. Okay, minimum's going around. Toga, gonna use the rudder to keep. One hundred. There we go, SRS go around track, go around flaps, one flap up, and we're gonna climb away nice and gently. Man, Toga, SRS go around track was what the FMA said. We're now climbing away, so landing gear up. I'm using my I'm using my left foot to, to Minimum. maintain that. Just to keep the aircraft nice and coordinated. We've got F speed now, so I can go ahead and bring the flaps back to one, reduce the drag on the aircraft. And as we accelerate, we'll get a we'll get a better climb rate as well. And now we're going into our go around uh, procedure. I can now trim a little bit more to the good side. Take my feet off the rudders and trim as required. As you can see, it's staying coordinated, and I can get the autopilot back on. All right, autopilot two. And that is basically going to get us out towards the go-around uh, procedure. And what we're going to do now is we're going to do the go-around procedure, fly out to Taltu, and then we're going to get vectors and come back again and then line ourselves up again with the airway and land. Alright, so I'll see you guys back there. All right, guys, we're back here again where um, <clears throat> we uh, we did the go around procedure. We went, we did the hold, we cleaned up the aircraft. We're now back again in clean configuration. Engine number one doesn't have to work too hard. And we've just been cleared to Delta Bravo 657 again uh, to start the approach and do a single engine landing. So Delta Bravo 657 is selected. I'm going to go insert, nav, Delta Bravo 657. I can also go ahead and up. The localizer and the glide slope. All right, cat three single autopilot one plus two, and we're going to go ahead and start configuring. So flaps one now. Remove the status page. There's nothing new there. And uh, basically, that's going to help us start slowing down to our S speed. And I'm going to start configuring once we have, uh, once we're lined up with the runway. I'm going to start configuring to flaps two, gear down, flaps three, flaps full, and so on. We can now basically do the approach checklist, which is going to be um, barrel reference is 1016, reading 2000 feet, and it's cross checked on both sides. Uh, the seat belts are on. The uh, minimums are 211 on the barrel. Uh, auto brakes are going to be low. And the engine mode selector currently is ignition start, as you can see right over there. So that's the approach checklist completed. All we got to do now is just capture the localizer, capture the glide slope, and bring the aircraft in for a landing. Gonna get back to you in just a second once I'm fully configured and on the approach, alright? And here we are, we're on the localizer, the glide slope is one dot above the center, so we can go ahead now, we're already flaps two, so we can go ahead and request for gear down, flaps three, we arm the spoilers, Turn on the lights, tell the cabin crew to be seated for landing. Glide slope star, so we're now in the process of capturing the glide slope. And we're making our way in towards the runway. Once we have the glide slope, we can set the go-around altitude, which is going to happen in just a few seconds.
There we go, glide slope, 4000, go around altitude set. And we can go ahead now and get wait for flaps full. There we go, and the landing checklist is completed. I'm gonna go ahead and cancel the autopilot and hand fly the aircraft in. All right, we've got Cat 1 on the FMA. And we just literally just follow the flight directors, follow the SRS, make sure the aircraft is stable, add and reduce the trim as required. I can actually reduce the trim a couple of notches just to keep the aircraft coordinated, the, the rudder and the nose coordinated. And we're making our way down towards uh, the runway. And there we go, scenery disappears, scenery comes back. Good old Microsoft Flight Simulator. And when you're hand flying the aircraft in, guys, remember this aircraft, this can do a fully this can do a fully automated auto land, even in single engine. I promise you it can do that. But since, <laughs> since for the for the sake of exercise you'll be hand flying the aircraft in, do not forget at 50 feet to ask your partner to reset the rudder trim by pushing this black button over here, okay? At 50 feet, reset the rudder trim, and because that's going to be the time when you're going to bring the thrust lever back to idle to um, uh, to basically uh, flare the aircraft and land it. So here we are, we're pretty much right there on the final approach. Maintaining flight directors, very little side stick impact required, 500 feet, that's cross checked. Slightly low. Four hundred feet. Land on the FMA. We're committed now to our landing. Three hundred. Three hundred feet. Hundred above. Hundred above our minimums. Keeping the aircraft coming in. Gonna give a little bit more rudder, as required. Okay. Minimum. Minimums. Continue. One hundred. Checked. All right. I'm going to ask the pilot monitor now to at 50 feet. 50. 50. Reset 30, the rudder trim. Bring the 30, power to idle. 20. Recall. And a little bit of left rudder now. 10, and flaring. Five. And we're on the runway. Pull boat reverses. Okay, spoilers, reverses green. D cell and using the rudders now just to maintain. Come back to that center line. There we go guys, a nice safe landing. There's 70, idle reverse, tap on the brakes, get the get manual brakes going and we can probably exit uh, at the next high speed exit which is coming up on our right which I think is going to be Kilo 13 if I'm not mistaken. There we go, full idle now on the thrust levers, store the thrust levers we're gonna go yep kilo 13 a little bit of tiller action a little bit of uh, rudder and we're gonna exit the runway and we're gonna hold short over here for further instructions